Hello beautiful family in Jesus Christ This is Stephen here We are on the 24th of January in the year 2022 And we're still here But we are waiting and watching for our blessed hope And glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour Jesus Christ if you do not know Jesus at this very late hour, then let me tell you, if you, have, if you haven't laid hold of your salvation, then please listen, because um, the Bible says that we all have sinned, we all fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, who died for us on that cross to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, our lifetime of sin when you believe that he was buried, that he rose again from the dead on the third day, and you call upon Jesus or you confess Jesus as Lord, you will be saved. So if you haven't believed, that's the gospel. Jesus, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life, and no man will make it to heaven. If you want to make it to heaven and not find yourself in hell, then believe the gospel. Believe that Jesus died for you on that cross. All of your sin, past, present and future, that he was buried, that he rose again on the third day. Um, and you believe that in your heart and you think, yes, I, I do believe it. Jesus died for me on that cross. I believe, yes, that he rose again from the dead on the third day. Yes, I believe it. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Say that. Say, come into my life. And when you mean it, um, and you're just honest, just go to him as you are. It doesn't matter what you have done, how unworthy you might think you feel, and go to him, because he's promised that he will not turn anyone away who comes to him in truth. So, if you're not saved, then get saved because there's a heaven and there is a hell and if you reject the Lord Jesus hell is where you will go and I don't want you to go there neither does God the Bible says all can be saved the Bible says God wants all to be saved so it's all down to you and your free will your choice whether you're going to accept or reject the free gift of God which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes so that's the gospel out of the way um, I just wanted to come on here and do a video for you all you know, I, I like to do these uh, walk and talk videos and um, I promise you I do them so I'm gonna try to keep doing them as of, often as I can maybe not every day um, but every other day at, at least so I hope you are all all right. Um, hold on a minute, let me just swap hands. Uh, I just, um, I'm gonna pray, pray for you all. I, I just pray, dear loving Heavenly Father, I pray over this video that it will be a blessing to everybody. In Jesus' name, I pray you will be glorified through this video, Lord God, in Jesus' name. I just pray everybody will go away feeling more blessed and touched by by you holy Spirit, in jesus name i pray and if anybody hasn't laid hold of their salvation lord god i pray that you reveal yourself to them and help them to come to a knowledge of salvation by believing upon you jesus i pray in jesus name amen so hold on guys swap hands again oops sorry about that but um there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world and I, I notice that a lot of people are acting strange and um, do you know uh, the Bible says that people who have not accepted the Lord Jesus are actually dead in their transgressions and sins and it's only when you, you um, get saved and you receive the Holy Spirit um, that you you uh, 
you are woken up spiritually you are quickened by Holy Spirit the light of the world um, so just just thought I'd add that um, so I'm trying to think of what I was going to say uh, yeah there's lots of people acting pretty crazy doing some crazy things and and just what the point I was getting to is as I'm preaching I'm looking at I'm looking at all the people walking past in the streets and uh, I can see that many of them they look desperate people look absolutely desperate um, and the very words that they're listening well that they should be listening to as I'm speaking just seem to be flying over the top of their heads and um, it's not penetrating into their hearts into a lot of them but there is a lot and I pray that there is who who do something about what they've heard you know that there is a the heaven and the hell and that Jesus is the only way to to heaven so I hope so because some without without the Lord people people can be full of darkness people because Jesus is the light of the world and Jesus said he who is not with me is against me so they're full of darkness and I can see that but it's a colossal percentage of people that um, are f appear to be filled with that darkness which is a sorry sight to see because I love people and um, well I just want them to, to lay hold of their salvation and believe because uh, uh, hold on let me swap hands uh, any moment any second now I might not even get to the end of this video the Lord Jesus Christ shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first all that ever believed on Jesus will be resurrected and then we all believers which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus so be comforted by these words uh, all you my family hold on and swap hands again um, because Jesus is coming if you're discouraged that he hasn't come yet do, do not lose hope hold on because he is coming he said he would come at an hour when people think not so uh, like a thief in the night and um, we're on the verge of that happening it, it's actually quite obvious that we are in the final moments of the end of the age absolutely you couldn't get any more in your face to be honest and if if people are watching and seeing what's going on around the world um, then you can you can see every single day I get I get um, alerts on my phone saying um, towns and villages in Peru completely swept away by mud floods India Pakistan wherever flooding destroying complete towns and villages and it's just off the charts all this stuff so it's obvious those uh, beginning of sorrows the birth pains have increased dramatically and we are at a tipping point um, 6,000 years and we are about to this world is about to change Jesus is coming for all the saints that's you and me guys and then this world my gosh then darkness will come upon this world thick darkness and the great tribulation will begin which is more horrific than most of us realize um, this is the why we're still here because the tribulation is going to be so severe the tribulation begins immediately after hold on immediately after the rapture of the church and um, the tribulation will begin 
the apocalypse uh, will will begin and uh, this world will be turned upside down as you see me preaching in the streets um, because it really is going to be bad. I know things are bad in, for many of you around the world and but it's nothing compared to the great tribulation. It, it's going to be horrendous. Stars falling from the sky, um, all kinds of things. The bottomless pit opened, um, a demonic army coming up out of the river Euphrates. Uh, whew, going to be absolutely crazy and not very nice. So if you're somebody on the fence and you haven't believed on Jesus yet, please do so. He loves you very much. He's just waiting for you, whether you're going to believe in your heart what he did for you on the cross, how he died for us all on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. And like I said, it's past, present and future sin. He was buried and he rose again on the third day. Please, if you haven't, believe that. Take a step of faith and lay hold of your salvation because it's your eternal security. It depends on whether or not you're going to believe or not. So please believe on Jesus. Call upon him in truth. And he will, he will save you. He will save you, baptize you in his Holy Spirit, which will be with you forever. He will never leave you. So I do, this is just a short video. I just thought I'd uh, come on here and tell you the gospel and tell you that. Jesus Christ is coming and there's very very little time left I hope this video pops into somebody's feed I hope so um, who hasn't believed and they will believe how, and see how simple it is to be saved that it's not about being religious and it doesn't matter what you have done and uh, you all can be saved no matter who you are no matter what you have done for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, if you haven't done so, please be a whosoever. Call upon Jesus while you still can. Don't take the gamble. Don't, don't take the chance um, that what I'm saying isn't true because um, it's the word of God. And there's a war going to start on this world, the likes of which we have not seen before, this world has never seen before. And when I say that, I, I, I think it's gonna be very, very soon, very soon. So, uh, yeah, the world's gonna be flipped upside down. Guys, I'm gonna to have to get off because uh, I've got so much to do today, but uh, wait on the Lord, be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, upon the Lord. All right, I love you guys. God bless you. See you at the wedding supper of the Lamb in paradise very soon. All right, I love you guys. Jesus loves you more. Remember, he's just a prayer away. And remember... That God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. That the things which are impossible with men are possible with God.